I'm gonna wreck the puppy. Now if you go down, if you go down the Kensington and Clearfield and you make a right, there's a storefront. It's not necessarily a store, it's more of like a non-profit organization. I think they're called Savage Sister Recoveries. And what they do at their storefront is people go in there, uh, people who are living on the Ave, and if they need a place to get a shower or a place to warm up, like it's been cold lately, so these ladies and other people that work there, uh, they run this nonprofit out of uh, this old store. Kind of, I don't know if it's the old comic book store I used to go to as a kid, but anyway, they um, the city council person. I never, I don't think I've ever seen this lady before, but the city council person has urged the person, oh look at this little, the city council person has urged the landlord of that building to make the sisters move their business and not to renew their lease. And all these people do is they offer people a shower and somewhere to stay warm and the food and that not, you know the biggest thing down here and I don't think it gets talked about enough are these infected wounds and these bandages and the amount of amputees we're seeing on Kensington Ave um it's it, it I, I wish somebody was keeping track of how many People are missing limbs down here because it, it's it's alarming, and the stuff, the trink that they're they're shooting up, it eats away at their flesh. Even if they shoot it up properly, it eats away at their flesh. And uh, these ladies and other people who work in their group take care of their un unbandaged wounds, and. Uh, some people say that these people are enabling. I, I can see it. I understand how people can feel that way. I see it um, as they're kind of helping out the city because they also not only do they clean the wounds, but they also administer Narcan to people. And... Um, people uh, other people administering Narcan besides calling 911 and having an ambulance come out it, it probably saves the city a lot of money or to stay I don't know who pays for the ambulances for the people to get shot up with Narcan because I've seen it happen uh, 10 times in the last few years an ambulance would just drive up revive somebody they usually refuse treatment, and the ambulance drives off. And uh, so the city council person wants this this group out of there. And uh, I saw, you know, besides the shower, besides them having a shower in a warm place, and luckily, luckily, we're coming into the summer months, and. Uh, They'll still be able to do their thing. It just won't be... Um, it won't be the way they, they like to do it. But they'll still be able to help people. And I saw something on Instagram that they're going to be moving. And... Uh, so if you want to check out what they're doing, follow them on Instagram. I'll have a link on their page. I think the city, the city gave up a long time on this area, and uh, it, 
it's weird uh, it's weird to see them the, the, the new mayor is really saying Kensington a lot and I really think she's going to be making a difference and I uh and I see this, you know, this, there are also, uh, there's talks, there's another place not too far from here called Prevention Point, which is another place that's controversial. Whenever, whenever I walk in Kensington, I always have a school bag on me. And in that school bag, I always have the little thing you shoot up for Narcan to bring people back. And I always get that at Prevention Point. And all I do is I go up to one of the security guards and I just say, hey, I, I need some Narcan. Anyway, Prevention Point is this uh, place, same type of, they offer services for people who are addicted to drugs, people who are uh, um, trying to get warm, get something to eat, clean clothes, get a shower, all those things they offer at Prevention Point. And, uh, I read an article, and they said they said that the city council person's trying to get Prevention Point shut down, and uh, I see that as a sign that of something changing in Kensington. If they're getting rid of these advocacy groups, um, some people say it's really inhumane to get rid of these groups before you get rid of the addicts, but... Mm. This is Cambria Street. The... I've been... I, I drive down Kensington Ave like once every other day just to see if the new mayor is implementing some type of new law or if they're posting new signs. And the worst, uh, one of the worst intersections is right here at Kensington and Cambria. There's always an encampment of some sort going on. One of the things I always get comments about when I walk Rick around here is people always like, oh, there's so many syringes in Kensington. You're crazy for walking your dog around here. And, uh... not saying it it's 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 not it's not that bad uh, that's a tough job right there to have a corner store right here on Hart and Jasper four blocks off the Ave That's a tough, that's a tough gig. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. I'm gonna cross the street, bud. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. Um, oh, you can gamble inside those uh, corner stores. Some of the, uh, yeah, man, I, I one at Kensington and Clearfield, there's a corner store you can go in. You buy soda, potato chips, all types of stuff. But they also, in Pennsylvania, you're allowed to they have slot machines that you can play. <laughs> 